Hey, how's it going guys? Coach Austin here to talk about the neutral grip lat pull down for lats. Okay, so I say that specifically because typically we see lat pull downs done with a lat pull down bar, which is misnamed, if you will. So when we talk about which grip to use or which handle or attachment to use for lats, that's going to be something in a neutral grip just like we talked about within the horizontal cable row. Okay, so if you haven't seen that, it may help to go watch that video to talk about the actual setup within that row. Okay, so within the lats being able to create leverage and really contribute to moving the load, they need to be in a position to actually have leverage to move the load, if that makes sense, right? So if our arms are all the way out here, for example, in a typical lat pulldown bar, the lat doesn't function by doing this, okay? The lat functions like this, okay? So that lat is actually pulling down. Those lat fibers are pulling down in this plane. So as soon as we bring that arm out, those lat fibers lose a lot of leverage, okay? So this, not really lat, okay? This is lat, okay? So we need to move in this plane, okay? So this is going to challenge those more lower divisions of the lat, okay? Just like the cable horizontal row is gonna challenge more of those upper divisions of the lat, okay? So again, when choosing an attachment for lat pulldowns is going to be more of a neutral grip. It's going to put ourselves in this position, again, for that, those lats to actually have a lot of leverage to contribute to moving that load, okay? So now, the second thing we need to do is consider what our complete range of motion is within the lat pull down. So a common thing that we see and where people tend to get a lot of, let's say stress or impingement in that tricep. So you'll hear people say that, oh, my tricep hurts, or it feels like really, really deep pain up here when doing lat pull downs. And that's that long head of the tricep that we talked about in the tricep uh, cross cable extension video. It's that long head of the tricep actually attaches to that scapula, that shoulder, those shoulder blades back there. So that being said, if we're out of the range that we're needing to be in for this, uh, for this movement, for example, that's gonna put a lot of stress on that long head of that tricep, on those tissues that are within this plane right here, okay? So that being said, we need to find a good position. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a position here that's nice. So we're reaching within this, okay? So we're neutral. We're gonna be reaching out and up, out and up, out and up, out and up. And you're gonna get some resistance here. Out and up. I can't go up any further. If I go up any further, I'm gonna lose tension here and I'm just gonna to have to start pulling back with other tissues, okay? So again, finding that full range or that complete range of motion here for our lats to still be able to have leverage, still be able to have tension. So we're thinking of reaching out, reaching out, going up, reaching out, going up, reaching out. Ah, about right there, that's about all I got. Okay, so the question comes, how far do I lean back in a lat pull down? Okay, so that is going to be relative to this position. That makes sense, right? So while keeping our abs compressed, just like we would in the horizontal cable row, okay, we're going to lean back using our hips, not extending our upper back, or our lower back for, for that matter. We're actually gonna be using our hips to hinge Okay, so let me pick the best angle I could here. So what I'm going to do is set myself up here, okay? And remember that position you were in for that complete range of motion, okay? So it's not gonna be straight up, because remember, that's taking me out of that range of motion. So what I'm going to do is I need to hinge back, keeping those abs compressed, I'm hinging back at the hip, and I'm getting in a really good neutral position for those lats to really contribute to moving this load. So from here, focus on, again, we're focusing on driving that upper arm down to initiate that movement. And then we're just thinking about driving those elbows down, 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 all the way down there, okay? Again, we're not allowing this to move and contribute to moving it, okay? We're just holding steady here, okay? Thinking about driving that upper arm down. Again, we're not thinking about back with the scapula or anything with the shoulder blades here. Those are gonna move naturally. So just let them move naturally and we're just gonna go down, 
We're gonna drive that upper arm down and keep driving those elbows down, elbows down, elbows down, elbows down. And that's gonna be a great lat contraction. So again, things to consider. Keep those abs compressed, okay? So again, we don't want to extend. As soon as we start extending, as soon as we start to get this movement, which if you've watched other videos, what does this movement look like? The rear delt row or an upper back row, okay? So it's not our lats, okay? So we need to compress those abs, keep everything stable in here, and keep ourselves in a really good position to use our lats. The last thing that I do wanna mention, and I mentioned it in the horizontal row video, is what you're going to see a lot of is a lot of tricep action. And that's because people are thinking so hard about using their lats that they forget that their biceps are main contributors or accessory contributors to rowing or pull down movements, right? So as we're moving through this, we really need to consider that we're not just doing this, that we're actually allowing those biceps to do work while we're driving those elbows down.